How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today as always. Uh, so tomorrow is a big update. There's going to be the back to school event. There's going to be home team colors, possibly new skins. I'm not really sure. I haven't really been watching the dev streams because I've been really busy lately. Um, but today we're going to be dedicating this episode to Core because I really want to get Core to level 25. As you can see, he's really, really close. I think if I just play like a few more free for all games, we might be able to get Core to level 25 in this video. Maybe not though. I don't know. We'll see. Um, free for all games is typically the best place to get levels. If you're trying to speed level uh, legend all the way to level 25, I'll say that much. And, um, Speaking from experience, I have level, I have 31 legends with black colors, so um, I'm I'm very familiar with leveling legends. And free for all is typically the fastest way. If you win, if you don't, if you usually don't win free for all games, then just you know play, keep playing one v one or two v two, whatever you're best at. You'll still get good experience in one v one, two v two, but. Definitely free for all. I feel like you just see the biggest gains. Plus, I don't know. I don't know about you guys. I actually like free for all a little bit. You know, it's the only mode where you actually get to face four players, you know, in a complete free for all. Only game mode where you get to get uh, double and triple kills. Well, I guess double kills you could get in twos, but only place you can get triple kills. It also makes it much easier to get like godlikes and stuff like that. Yes, you see a lot more sig spam in free for all. That's gonna happen. No surprise there. Come on, Queen Knight, get that out of here. Nix, I haven't even touched this Nix over here. Where you going, Woo? Wushong! You dead. Ouch, dude, that snake bite. So, we have your typical Queen Eye spammer over here. No big deal. So let's see how well the Queen Eye does in actual. Oh my gosh, she almost killed me. If you're gonna be a spam legend, Queen Eye is, is definitely up there in spam ability. That's actually a really good video idea. Top 5 best weapons, or top 5 best legends to spam with. <laughs> if you guys think I should do that video, let me know in the comments. It would probably uh, rage a lot of people, and it would probably also make a lot of people laugh. Because honestly, if I do a video like that, it would be for fun, but at the same time, I would take it seriously. Because some legends are better to spam with than others, we know this. Looking at you, Queen Nai. Looking at you, Orion. Core isn't bad either, as you can see. I actually don't mind six spamming as long as you're actually like trying to hit with the six. If you're just like throwing them out there and hoping people will run into them, that's not that's not a good way to six spam. Like the Queen Eye is throwing six out there with a very low chance of success. Which is why it's so annoying when it does hit, because you know that she not even trying really. Oh. Queen Nye got a double knockout? Alright, one minute left on this map, and uh, Queen Nye is already looking like she is a contender, but I'm not too worried about the... Uh... Oh, yeah, she just died, so I, I got a three-point lead right now. Let's see if I can extend that, killing this annoying Queen Nye. That might be it. Yep. I'll probably do uh, one or two games of free for all, then we could do some 1v1s. I don't mind doing 1v1s. I just really want to get core to level 25, and this is the fastest way to do it. But I know not everybody enjoys watching free for all. I actually don't mind it, but. So, what have you guys been up to? How's everybody doing? I actually have been really enjoying the World of Warcraft Classic launch. It was last night, and it was amazing. I was literally one of the very first people to log into the game and there was so, oh my gosh, there were so many people in queue, over 25,000 people in queue, but I was really uh, 
I don't want to say I was really smart, but I logged into the game an hour before it launched, and already there was a queue time. But I was able to get out of the queue probably 45 minutes before it launched, and I was actually in the world. So as soon as it said enter world, I was able to get in. It was pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, first guy I played was an undead uh, rogue. It was fun. All right, let's do one more uh, free fall. You guys have seen how much XP I got there. It was amazing. So yeah, tomorrow the heat wave, or I'm sorry, the home team colors are coming back. Check out these home team colors on core. I'm sure most of you guys saw the uh, home team video I did yesterday showing all the home team colors. Um, dang, these are literally some of my favorite colors in the game. So I'm really hyped to see what the home team colors look like for Fate, as well as Petra. And uh, Thor, it's gonna be awesome. Even Rain Man's getting the home team colors. All right, so we got Azoth, Taros, and a Sentinel. Keanu Reeves is the Taros. I'm surprised nobody rage quit that last match. Free for all, you see a lot of people rage quit if one person gets ahead a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this, man. When the community comes together. All right, let's fight. All right, here comes out the six. When Taro starts throwing out the six, that's when I'm gonna get nervous. I missed him. Taros! I want to get a kill here. Everybody's like in deep. Oh no. Wow, Taros! Are you kidding me, Sentinel? Well, Sentinel took the lead, but I, I killed him at least, so he's only got a slight lead. Never mind, he's got a two point lead. Ugh. You ever feel like you do all the damage and then you don't get the kill? It's like, you, you're, you're doing all the work, you're planting the seed, you're watering the plant, and then all that work, pulling the weeds, everything, and then somebody comes along and just picks the fruit, and you don't get anything. Bye, Taro. Oh, Sentinel got me. That's the last person I wanted to get me. So he's got a three-point lead here. We're at about half time, so. Sentinel's in red health. I need to take him out. Never mind. Azoth got me. Got him. Go Sentinel. I gotta focus on Sentinel. He's my he's my nemesis. Ouch. Alright. I took the lead there. Nice. Be even nicer if I could kill Sentinel. Oh, Taros, why would you do that to me? Oh man, I did a neutral sig, but it was too slow. Sentinel's only one point behind me. I like what you're trying to do there, Azoth. Oh yeah, I got him. Nice. Oh, nice team combo, Azoth. Azoth is literally just six spamming, which is fine. I mean, that's his choice. Got him. 
Alright, we got a strong lead. I don't even need to worry about it. <laughs> GG guys, GG. This goes this is a fun group to play with, man. They were all friendly. GG guys. See that XP though guys? See that XP? Plus 204 XP. Yeah, let's just do another free-for-all. Oh wait, let's change skin at least. Um Let's change skin and we are grinding all the way to level 25. Once I get black colors for core, let's do uh Optimus Prime core here. Let's do Skyforge. Once I get black colors with core, guys, I will do another video of core where I just do 1v1s pretty much with core because obviously most of you guys probably want to see 1v1. That's fine. Um, this video is a little more chill, a little more casual. That's why I'm doing the uh, free-for-alls. Hope you don't mind. Honestly, um... I'm really hyped to have Core in level 25. He's one of my favorite legends, just because of he he was like I don't was Core the first Gauntlet legend? I don't remember, or was that Wu Shang? Um, but he was one of the first Gauntlet legends. I don't remember if it was the first one or the second one, but I just liked him ever since I saw him. I just think he's cool. All right, so here's the uh, people we're voting. We got another Core and a Diana and a Ragnar. took the kill, of course he did. Back off, Ragnar. No, not the whip! Diana's going purely for whip kills. They're all in red, I need to get back and get some kills. That's what I'm talking about, I got that revenge kill. Crazy! This is crazy! Stop doing the whip, Diana! You're freaking me out with that! Oh man, this core. Ah! Oh, no, I want to kill the core so badly! Got him! Diana's literally just spamming the whip. It's so scary. I wish Diana would whip this other core every now and then. Oh, that's game, dude. That is game. Merped it. Did 
just dominating over here. Look at that. He's literally insane. GG dude, GG. Alright guys, actually, you know what? I will play a 1v1. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm gonna get I'm gonna go into 1v1 right now. We'll do we'll do experimental. Yeah, let's do molten core. This one looks pretty sweet. By the way, guys, I don't know if I said this, but I really hope you guys are having a good day wherever you guys might be. Thank you for all the support that you guys have always been giving me. Also, I want to know if any of you guys do play Classic World of Warcraft because I'm super into that right now. Um, if you do, let me know in the comments below. I will be reading them to see. If you want to play with me in Classic WoW, I'm on the Stalag server. Horde. Alright, going against Orestes K. Mordex. Let's see how I do with a little 1v1 action here. went too deep on that one. Dude, I look so good with the black and green. Gosh, I love these colors so much. Sigs are broken. <laughs> All right, dude. GG, dude. GG. I'll play one more game, guys. I'll play one more week. Why not? Let's do one more game. I need gadget chaos and thrown weapon. Ugh, that's gonna be tough. Um, you know what? Let's do Jake. Might as well since I have him, right? Let's do Lucky Clover colors. I'm really hyped for tomorrow, though, guys. Home team colors gonna be so good. So good, I can't wait. Boom! Going against Meef? Is this the same guy? Nah, I don't think it is. Name just seems familiar. I gotta remember that I am core when I'm playing as Jake because sometimes I forget who I even am. Bro, that was unfortunate. Oh wow. Alright bro. GG then. GG. Alright guys. Well I hope you enjoyed this uh, little preview. When I get Core to level 25, look how close I am dude. When I get him to level 25, like I said, I'm going to do a Core dedicated video. Um, he will be... Ooh, man, once I get core level 25, I'll only need cross to 25, and then the entire top two rows of legends I'll have black colors for. So, pretty awesome. Cross, unfortunately, he's only like, what, level 18? Yeah, almost 19, so that's going to take a while, but I'm pretty hyped for that. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and drop a like. I appreciate it, and be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. As always, this is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, guys.